This is not a strictly dancehall music review channel. All right. So I've done said that many times already, but the people them not care. Them still are send me topics for do. So I have to do the the topics. It's supply and demand. The people have demand it. I supply it. We have a good business relationship. It's so Flow TV. That one here today we come for talk about. You see, we come for talk about Kaleido. In an him nightly fix interview where he talks about suicide, contemplating suicide, and we also come to talk about the general, the Don. We come to talk about Vibes Cartel and his endorsement of the Jenna, Young Jenna Massacre. The crocs them are out, the pond them empty. Crocodile they out there. Where, 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 um, what Massacre say? Him thing a kick out this year. Him thing a fire power rapid this year. Bang, 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 rah. See ya. Let's talk about it. First of all, me day I watch the Nightly Fix interview. Somebody linked me yesterday and them say, yo, so Flow TV, check out the Nightly Fix interview. The week why Kaleido will kill himself because not now go and film again. Now, this subject is very touchy for me because I, I, like I've told you before, I had a little brother that committed suicide, right? Upon the man, 23rd birthday, I take him own life. You understand what I'm saying to you? So... This subject of suicide is very touchy for me. When me go watch the Nightly Fix interview, big up Nightly Fix over there, sir. When me go watch the Nightly Fix interview with Kaleido, there are certain things that stood out to me in that interview. And let me tell you something. It's the insensitivity of Jamaican people when it comes to victims of suicide. When it comes to people who are going through dark times and depression, it's the insensitivity, it's the lack of education and lack of understanding which breeds a lack of empathy, which breeds a lack of the ability to actually stop the individual from committing suicide. So, check this out, man. What Kaleido is saying, first of all, Mr. Big Up Kaleido, because I remember one time Kaleido did a thing, his thing was firing on all cylinders as well. And I thought, oh shit, Bounty don't endorse Kaleido, Kaleido. Out there, my go on good, him have him image, I go on and everything. And him thing, I, I kick off and him I do road visa out there, him I do road, right? Then I remember not seeing him anymore. And then the thing where one picture surfaced was that Kaleido shows real gun on social media. I may have said, no, nah, man. But if you look at the background of it, he's either in Jamaica or he is in another island that looks like Jamaica. Either way, this can't be nothing good for him as a person that depends on a visa to fly out to go perform because them can pull up the picture and them can say, oh, you're in another, you're in another, they're more classified as third world people. You're in another third world country, a hung a gun. Oh, so you with the bad man shits too. All right, take care of us back to Jamaica. Give us this visa back. Or if it was in Jamaica, they could look at the picture and say, oh, so you're one of them from Jamaica. You, They'll check with the firearm license registration place and say, mm, no record of you having a, a licensed firearm. So here you are handling a weapon, a gun, and you're posting pictures of it on social media. At the time, it was a well-publicized beef between him and Massacre. Whether that beef was manufactured to um, boost somebody's career or not, that was very detrimental or could have been very detrimental to Kaleido. I don't know if that is the circumstance surrounding his losing his visa. I hear him talk a little bit about um, get whole up so visa, get tech, get sent home, and it wasn't clarified. If you know more about that than I do, leave that in the comment section. But the whole flashing of the gun thing was the last time I saw of Kaleido, and then he went totally missing, completely, right? I hear one or two songs out there, and I said, mm, that sounds like Kaleido, but I don't really know, right? Quite honestly, I wasn't one of them people there that where I said, yo, I want your one next Kaleido tune, I want your one next Kaleido tune. I wasn't on it like that. He hadn't made that much of an impact yet, right? So to see him on Nightly Fix now, where I say, boy, I mean, he, one, one time he even contemplated suicide, you know, because the way all things are go bad for him. And then Kaleido actually breaks it down for us. I can tell us that people, it ain't that serious, but it can be. Okay, because when my little brother did it, I spoke to him the day before and there was no friggin' inclination. There was not a clue that this was about to happen. So check it. Kaleido said, the thing about it is, if you can imagine, which a lot of you can't imagine. Some people can imagine being um, from poor conditions, 
but them can't imagine actual sufferation. Like what Kaleo talking about, walk around with no shoes. And the man I make you know, sir, he had to walk four miles one way and four miles back the other way. He was one of them kids in Jamaica we used to kick rock stone with him barefoot because he didn't have no shoes. He didn't have no shoes. I outside on a cold concrete in that sleep for four years. Homeless, um, not, no income coming in, young youth, no place to sleep, no roof over him, head him, daddy fling him out, all kind of something going, right? And to lift yourself up from that to where you have a place to live, your apartment well furnished out nice, I can't imagine the man still say him live by himself. You know, your life, things are going for you. You have your own little place and thing. You have a name about the place. You have songs that are spinning on the radio. You all get endorsed by a big general like Bounty Killer and these kinds of things. You are appearing, you have videos all over the place. You have visa, you have fly out, you have come in when you please. Them kind of thing that you're making money. You are part of the dancehall fraternity now. You have achieved something. And to have that snatched away to where you cannot make that income that you used to make Therefore, you cannot take care of yourself or the people you used to take care of the way that you used to. That's what Kaleda was saying. It felt so depressing that at times he felt like committing suicide. The thing about it is how people beat the money in that comment section. Oh, weak boy. Listen, listen, man. You never know what a person is going through. And I understand the whole religion and prayer to God and it will go away thing out of Jamaica when it comes to these issues. But I'm telling you that depression is way worse than that. And no religion can't save depression when time medical depression medical level depression sticking at the brain there it's gonna take a, a different a different approach other than religion so Kaleda big up yourself my youth if you're watching this and me no wish no bad for you and I do hope that you come out of it I don't know how your visa situation is but I do hope that you see yourself on the up and up again all I can say is go hard and done you see what I say pause on on to now Vibes Cartel endorsing Massacre. This is not a dance hall review channel. We keep on telling people that they're not hearing me. They say, so Flow TV, we want to hear your opinion on this. Okay. So I went and I looked on Twitter. And I saw like a little screenshot off. And me, I said, mm, I don't know. First of all, actually, there are so many Vibes Cartel pages out there. I'm starting to have a problem actually believing well, which one is the real one. Right? Because I started off with thinking one particular one was the real one and then me end up a next one come in will look real too and a next one and a next one but anyway if in the event if in the event because some people slow so I'm going to say it again if in the event that Vibes Cartel did endorse Massacre then this can be a very strategic move on the part of Vibes Cartel remember a couple of things here right Vibes Cartel has never ceased to say, one, Bounty Killer in general, right? Okay, you know Bounty Killer brought Vibes Cartel to the forefront of the game. Bounty Killer is Vibes Cartel general. Bounty Killer has done a song with Massacre, giving Massacre his full approval, correct? Okay, now, with that, Cartel follows suit. If Cartel gave him that approval, so okay, Cartel gives him an approval and says something about by 2020, he's going to be a serious contender. And right now, none of them out of road now kick out hard like Massacre, right? That was the statement that was made, allegedly, because I had not seen it. I know a lot of people said they've seen it, but in the event that it was said that way, right? So I'm get a big endorsement from Bounty Killer, a giant. I'm get a big endorsement from Vibes Cartel, a giant. The man who has run the place right now and has been running the place for the last five years. He might give you a forward. Let me tell you something about Vibes Cartel. He is very calculating. Vibes Cartel could have used that time to say and to give a forward to Mavado. He could have used that to say or to give a forward to anybody else. Somebody else linked me and said, Yo, SoFlo TV, you know your Vibes Cartel voice note release. Vibes Cartel a sing Alkaline song. I forgot which song he said it was. I don't know, I haven't heard the voice note. I tried listening to the link that was sent to me. The link never appeared. Why that would have happened, I don't know. But I've said this also before. Cartel has never came out and said that me not like that boy there or me and that youth there in a beef. So I don't know why. It's the people that keep pitting the two DJ them against each other. Like there's not enough food out here for everybody. Right? Internationally, we are reaching out now. So I could talk about this. Right? So, okay. Massacre gets that kind of an endorsement. 
Remember, here's another connection. Corey Todd. Corey Todd, yeah, the one where they say I'm free. I can't tell you no. I can't tell you no. The one that say, is he free? I can't tell. Remember, you know, Corey Todd, I see a man who said, in Pickney, a vibes can't tell, and the godfather for him, you know. Remember, you know, a Corey Todd did come on and say, they have mend their fences on ER. The man said, here, they have mend their fences, and they're back to doing business again, right? So, silently is the man's business partner. They have meant their fences because they did have a, a great relationship before. You know what I said? So, I don't know. They meant them fences and cartel. I do a business deal behind closed doors. They say, yo, forward a $50,000 account here. Me some massacre and show them out. Right? Right now, my stamp of approval is official. Or, or, maybe, maybe... Cartel, I look for come out sometime soon. And I look for go back into business with Corita, the artist management side of the business with Corita. Right? Me no know. So Cartel can focus more on being an artist instead of artist slash manager slash all the other things that he was before with Black Rhino and um, Popcorn and Lisa Hype and Gaza Hindu and the whole of them there. The whole roster. Right? Maybe that's the kind of business that's going on. Either way you take it, it, I'm looking at it like this. Massacre go on good for the year 2016, but I say it before, I say it again, him come out late for me. Him come out late for me. So yeah, he's a contender towards the later end of the year, right? He's a contender towards the later end of the year. He's not a year-long contender. I'm still saying that the contenders for 2016, if we are going to give an award for who run 2016, we have to start from January of 2016 and then we have to end it at December of 2016 because I saw the year start and end. Okay? Who start off a run the race hard? Who start off who was consistent throughout the whole year? Are them things that we have to look upon. So, yeah, big up to Massacre. If the dads give a forward, if Vibes Cartel say, yeah, give Massacre a forward, big up to Massacre, that means that your thing go for shot. That means that your thing they are road. And I hope you can capitalize off of this and don't do it like how when time you come out upon some fest and your voice sound like you did a sing dong in your chest. Fix up your on stage presence. I mean I talk about Winford Williams on stage. May I talk about fix up your on stage presence, fix up your performance, your live performance. May they see him again over sting and in the in a sound good for the mic neither. I'll be fix up your performance. Fix up your performance where people can actually hear the words them that's coming out of your mouth. And people can actually sing along to your song them and them kind of thing there. Fix up your performance, my youth, because right now the ball is in your court. And where you say, and you say hard ball, right? So see that go hard and done. It's up TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Me says a good luck for massacre. And Mr. Kaleda go on all fate here. I'm out. Peace.